I've been waiting for you. Just look at what I found. Another shred. But this one is larger and its lettering suggests a more recent De Verga script. How did I know that? Well, I believe I may have been a scholar before this unpleasantness. Well, that's one theory. Go get that treasure. Bad. Not a great one either. There's more wrecks to search when you're ready to send me. There's a few wrecks off the coast. Let me know if any of these are worth salvaging. Their armor may stink, but I'll still wear it. See you tomorrow. Be careful. It's done, my liege. Be sure to have a look around. I am certain you'll be impressed. Incidentally, I've taken the liberty of inviting a recent castaway, a Deirdre Gwint, to serve the keep as your librarian and linguist. You should speak to her in the library. We've built out, yes, but now it's time to build up. In my dream, the keep was much taller than it is now. And the debris does suggest that there was once a second floor above the throne room, with an art gallery. I'll just need you to get me the following materials. Four bundles of beech stone, three bundles of ember wood, two bundles of sailcloth, and three bundles of sea steel. The books mention the construction of a second floor, but nothing about how it was used. Perhaps it was just there to make the keep taller and more impressive. So I'm all for that. My dream sheds no light on how the second floor was used. I recall flashes of gold and other bright colors, but I don't know what to make of that. I suppose I'll just build it and see what inspiration occurs. I'm not sure that the De Verga are much into art, but it was in my dream that the second floor was an art gallery. Excellent. I'll get started immediately. Goodbye. Oh, hi. Welcome to the Grave Hall Keep Library. It's everything I hoped it would be and more. I've only barely arrived and I feel myself again. I've been doing some thinking and I have an idea to build our collection and use my extensive linguistic skill. During my short time here, I found a few books written in ancient languages. I suspect there are more like them on the island waiting to be found. Should you find any more such books, please bring them to me and I will gladly translate them for you. I can speak half a dozen languages and I can read twice that. If there's a book I can't translate, I haven't seen it yet. My first days on the island were stressful, so I spent my time exploring as far from the camp as I safely could. On one of these walks I found an astonishingly old book in a language I didn't know. Translating this book helped me to engage my mind, and I think kept me sane. I soon found another such book, and another. I was still miserable, but I was busy and thinking. I love translating books. Just bring them to me when you find them. It shouldn't take me more than a day to translate anything. The 
and just when I thought things were getting boring. It shouldn't take me more than a day to translate. Take care. I think I'm starting to see things. Ah, I've seen you before, at Children Keep. I recognize a fellow war sworn anywhere. That keep of yours sounds pretty nice. You know, I do know a thing or two about blacksmithing. What do you say to let me move in? Well then, I guess I'll make my way on over there. Thank you, my liege, is it? Talk to you later. So fell the chain armor. 
the helms of iron as bards sang thick and bedding beckoned. Up from the depths of blue deep winding, the terror drog came clawing at their slumbering halls, where warriors waged wars with wine dreams and fancy, alone in the fearful vastly. First one she seized up, alive with wicked pleasure, bones crushed and bodies beaten as she painted the walls with gore, a screaming reverie. A cursed black sun rose high over hearth and hall. With dull blades drawn, they rose from cups, awake with horror, as silence gripped the tongues. Grief and torment in Grave Hall, for Anrun had met the tomb. A long night's silence. By mandate of the High Spear, all warriors heeded the call to hunt the beast drog to blood pall and fasting. With steel talon reach and venomous tongue they marched in her name. Anrun, Shadow Queen of Solzvar. Waiting for Alder's wife to come up here and do something. Not sure what exactly. They said that the new scion is meant to enter the ring of the Watcher and accept the blessing of Akara. Whatever that means. Don't look at me. I've never done this before either. They're waiting for you. Talking Cape Solace says that you were to be the next scion. I don't know what this means. The next scion must enter the ruins. There he will receive the blessing of Akara. I had the chance, but it was taken from me. Start the offering. Do you wound me, stranger? The Alphar despise me, the gnomes fear me, but with you I have no conflict. My ship, my crew, my island, you've taken everything. But you will not have the blessing of Akara. It is my birthright. 
Have you ever tasted death, my friend? Have you felt her sweet lips upon your cheek? I was a dead man. I had finally found the peace that had always escaped me in life. But then Akara brought me back, took my hand and fished me from my slumber. I did not choose to be... this. When Akara learned what I truly am, he abandoned his creation, leaving me to walk this earth in anguish. He owes me. It is more than these fools realize. So much more. Akara is ancient. All of Armalor has passed before his eyes. The wise and the wicked. And he has passed judgment. When you receive his power, you become one with Akara and his will. The wisdom, the strength, the magic. It is the power to change the world. Scion. It is a meaningless title. Don't let these fools blind you. They know nothing of Akara, only what he chooses to show them. There is no Scion. There is only the power and the one who receives it. As long as I walk this island and sail those blue waters, I will seek what is rightfully mine. No one tells dead Kel when to die. Not Akara, not you. That is one power I still possess. <laughs> I've never flown the white flag, and I will not start now. It betrays cowardice, and the Craven are always the first to the bottom. You will pay for what you've done. If Akara will not give me his blessing, then I will tear it from your still-beating heart. The Baronet is eager to meet you, especially after what you did to his friends. I didn't think we'd walk away from that fight. Well done. The Baronet finally met his match. Old Key is here. That's never a good sign. I wonder what he wants. Dead Kel almost interrupted the offering, but he failed. You should speak with Key. He sees farther into the future than any of us. Dead Kel is still out there. Surprised to see me? The truth is that you drew me here, not Akara. I've tried time and again to see your path, to read your weave, but I find nothing in the magic. Yet I have seen something new all on my own. It is hope, an opportunity to end the threat of dead Kel once and for all. That is what the Scion is meant to be. What you are. You are Akara's attempt to fix his own mistake. Go now, deep into Akara Tor, but do not go alone. You're destined to be joined by another. The captain has a good heart, insensible as she is. She will not leave you, no matter what takes place in Akara Tor.
Find your faith. You won't find a better companion than Captain Rattigan. She won't ever disappoint you. Goodbye. No time to 